Another episode of Talk the Talk. Today I'm driving my brother's 1981 DeLorean DMC 12. Stainless steel panels, gal wing doors, this thing is like no other car. It turns heads everywhere you go and I mean everywhere. You're at the traffic lights, people are pulling out their camera phones, you pull out at the petrol station, everyone has a hundred questions about the car and to answer one of them, yes, as you can see this thing's got a flux capacitor. Am I going to go 88 miles an hour? No. Why? Because I don't want my brother's car to be impounded. What's this car like to drive? In one word, comfortable. It's low to the ground, you're sitting back. These seats actually feel like sofas. They're so plush. Now, you can rev it out, make a lot of noise, but you're not really going to go anywhere. This thing isn't a performance car by any stretch of the imagination. It's a cruiser. They've got a 2.8 litre V6 engine that was commonly used in Volvos of the late 70s. Volvo doesn't really scream performance now, does it? But it's not what this car is about. This car's about turning heads. This car's about cool factor. The guy who built this car, John Zachary DeLorean, used to work for GM. He was quite high up. And in the late 70s, he thought, stuff it. I'm gonna make something different. I'm gonna make something that I'm remembered for. And this is what we got, the DMC-12. If people aren't into their cars, they know this car anyway. It's the time machine from back to the future. How can you go past it? Time circuits on, flux capacitor fluxing, great Scott, this is heavy. You get it all when you're driving around in this thing. And yes, it does get old, but you know what doesn't get old? The smiles that people have when they see this car. And here's some proof just to show you that this car really does stop people in their tracks everywhere you go. So David's decked out his DeLorean to make it resemble the Back to the Future time machine. You die-hard DeLorean fans, don't worry. Nothing's bolted on, everything's reversible, and you can take it all off within about 20 minutes. Is it exactly screen accurate? No. But he can take it all apart and enjoy it just as a normal car without worrying about Mr. Fusion flying off down the highway. In either form, this car's awesome to drive around in anyway. As David puts it, it makes you feel like a movie star, but when you're done with the attention, you can lock it up in the garage and get on with your day. Now let's hand over to my brother David so he can talk the talk about his passion for his cars. Looks stupid, I'm not even driving, I've got a seatbelt on. 
Uh, well, I bought the DeLorean because I've watched Back to the Future since I was about three years old. Uh, and I love cars, so I thought, well, I think I should buy a DeLorean to incorporate both my hobbies in one stainless steel package. Uh, what have I done to the car? So I bought it in 2007 um, and pretty much everything. Um, it sat in the guy's garage from 1990 to 2007 when I bought it. Uh, so it needed a full new fuel system, which is a fuel pump um, fuel distributor because this is a mechanically injected um, Peugeot Renault Volvo V6. Um, did tyres, brakes, suspension. It's got the um, upgraded suspension from America, um, the IBEX suspension system, um, which has coilovers in the rear and just standard struts and springs in the front. Um, did new radiator, new coolant lines, complete air conditioning system including including the compressor um, the, what else have I done new bearings so pretty much everything all auxiliary components um, starter motor alternator uh, the only thing that's really original is the gearbox clutch and motor so yeah at the start of the year I got the stainless steel body um, rebrushed and all the little dinks taken out uh, by Chris Nicholson from England um, he came over and did a few of the DeLoreans here um, he's a specialist in it and no one else really in the country can do it so he came over all the way from England um, and I'm very happy with the way it came out, looks mint. One thing I don't like about the car would have to be the lack of power. Um, it's probably quick enough for the way it stops and handles uh, but yeah an extra 100 kilowatts would be nice on top of the 66 kilowatts it has at the wheels. Future plans would be to rectify the thing I don't like which is the engine and do an engine swap um, but I've said to myself I won't do that until this engine stops. The engine options, um, so a lot of people put LS motors in these, uh, there's two in Sydney. The other option would be the 2G RFE engine out of the Orion, um, so you can either get the naturally aspirated or the supercharged one. Um, and then the other real oddball one, which I've been, this is all just dreaming in my head, but the um, Barra six cylinder out of the Ford, so it'll be a true Australian DeLorean if I put that in. Let's see what a DeLorean's like at Redline anyway. Just because it's not a performance car, doesn't mean you can't have some fun sometimes. This thing going through the corners, you can feel the suspension's quite soft. <laughs> you go round, you get a lot, a lot of body roll. On top of that, you got your props going everywhere, but at least the flux capacitor is nice and mounted. Bit of rev match. There we go. She can do it. When you're behind the wheel of this car, you're in a different zone. Your ass is inches from the ground and you have the sun reflecting off the stainless steel body. Although there's no power steering, once you get out of the driveway, the front end is actually quite light. With the engine mounted behind you and the car only weighing about 1,250 kilos overall. The clutch is heavy, but forgiving. And with the tall gears, second and third definitely feels about right around these twisties. This car proves that it's not always about power figures and the noise that comes out of your exhaust. The DeLorean is an exotic car with a family sedan engine and also deserves a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It's an 80s icon which people from all walks of life recognise as soon as the doors swing up. The advertising slogan for this car was live the dream and that's exactly what David is doing.